I'm Leo Walter for Kit Guru, and this power supply here is the Cooler Master Master Watt Maker 1200 Watt Made in Japan, which is a ridiculous mouthful. We've already reviewed this power supply on Kit Guru. Head to the website uh, and you will see the full review, including photos. This is like a second bite at the cherry doing a bit of video about it. Now, when Cooler Master announced this particular power supply, the point, the emphasis being on the MIJ Made in Japan, it seemed like a neat enough idea. They already had over on their own store, on their own website, uh, uh, the master watt 1200 watt uh, which was 399 euros and the 1500 watt which was 440 odd euros slightly more hellish expensive power supplies uh, top of the tree absolutely fine uh, the idea of a made in Japan which ditched those Chinese capacitors that are often on people's sort of list of things they don't much enjoy seemed like a reasonable idea and then we heard it was going to cost 999 euros uh, in the UK 900 pounds in the States I don't know a thousand dollars or more possibly uh, an absurd amount of money I literally stopped and checked my calendar to make sure it wasn't April the 1st the idea of a pass supply costing 999 euros was just ridiculous more than twice the price of the next power supply down the uh, tree which happened to have more wattage or if you want to compare the mij with a regular 1200 master watt which is a pretty darn fine power supply thousand euros against 400 two and a half times the price crazy 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 how could this possibly make any sense uh, and then one was sent in for review and it just stormed the test charts and man allen uh, loved it has never seen anything quite like it in terms of the figures and such like it is just epic the thing is this is not just a regular cooler master 1200 watt power supply albeit a very uh, classy unit and then with a few different components to make it slightly better it is completely different from end to end it is an atx power supply that's where the resemblance stops obviously fully modular uh, it actually these two boxes here are all the cables you get with it and you get a crazy crazy number of cables you can plug in more graphics cards I mean if you if you're running three cables per graphics card uh, four graphics cards which these days is just way over the top and so on every single number to do this power supply is epic but the idea that you're paying two and a half times the price an extra 600 euros for that MIJ it, that's not what it is at all this is a completely different power supply made by a company called Mirata in Japan I hope I got the pronunciation approximately correct they make really high-end server power supplies around the 500 euro mark so this is double the price of those power supplies uh, the components throughout are some of them are actually brand new designs made by Murata for this power supply alone it's not they've taken something off the shelf that's particularly high quality they are new components just for this power supply build quality is as near perfect as you get the efficiency is absolutely epic 96 and a half percent it's so good that although it's rated at 1200 watts it actually stormed past 1400 watts under complete load and then when it eventually shut down when it hit 1450 as I recall uh, it then fired up again after it, it didn't die it just had to shut down have a think off we go again absolutely mind-boggling um, so I had to step back and try and put some perspective on this and I realized that actually in a world where we do have some very expensive PC components it kind of makes sense for example I have a list of expensive things so we've got those cooler master power supplies at 400 pounds and the same is true of power supplies at the very very high end from Corsair and Superflower also 380 400 pounds uh, motherboard I've been using some of my testing Asus Rampage uh, 5 E10 uh, that's x99 chipset that's currently 545 pounds for a motherboard a very fine motherboard but a motherboard you can buy a 64 gigabyte ddr4 memory kit at the moment uh, top notch 450 pounds some people use 128 gigabyte that's 900 pounds on ram obviously you don't need it we know this but it's out there fantex elite a chassis i have not yet reviewed i probably will not get to review it uh, but truly mind-boggling piece of uh, work 700 pounds Titan XP, uh, Titan X has just been updated to XP, 1100 and something pounds per graphics card, and you'll probably want two of those, won't you? And then Core i7 6950X, the 10 core Intel processor, is currently 1650 pounds. Now we know Intel's taking the mickey there because they can, but there we go. So, in a world where a processor can be 1650, graphics cards can be 1100 pounds, and you want more than one of them, and so on and so on and so on, the idea of a power supply that's not 900,000 pounds, euros, dollars, 
what the heck? The thing has a 10-year warranty. You'll be using this power supply in your next build and your next build and your next build. This is not a one-off purchase. It goes on forever. The fact you probably can't buy the thing because Cooler Master, they've run out of stock immediately. They will surely do another batch of the things, but how many they'll ever make, goodness knows. Uh, it's a halo product in the truest sense of the word. The only tragedy of this power supply is that there will not be a trickle-down effect. You, I can almost bet you will never see a 600 watt version of this power supply because it wouldn't cost a lot less. It would have fewer cables probably, uh, but and it wouldn't come in this enormous box. But all the engineering that's involved in this power supply would still be in there, just slightly less of it. So the amount of money you'd save off that 900,000 pounds, euros, dollars, would be tiny, 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 which means the value would look even worse. So I do not expect for a second there'll be a trickle down. This is the MIJ power supply from uh, Cooler Master. Truly epic. Uh, the initial reservations have been removed. Yes, of course, it's insanely expensive, but it is just a truly wonderful piece of engineering. There we go. Head to Kit Guru to see the photos from uh, Alan's review. He's done some really high res with his medium format camera. The build quality of this power supply is like nothing we have ever seen before. Truly epic. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want more from Kit Guru, please do click to subscribe. Do head to the website to see those photos. I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru. This is the Cooler Master Master Watt Maker 1200 Watt MIJ.